Hello, I wanted to talk to you today about Padlet. I use Padlet in my classroom as a way for my students to see each other's artwork. So in art class, since I'm teaching a blended class, I don't have students being able to share the same space to see their artwork. So I utilize Padlet as a way for them to share their progress art. They're able to like pictures, they're able to comment and encourage each other's pictures and give each other ideas like they would normally be in a classroom. So there's different types of ways that you could use Padlet in your classroom setting. Creating a Padlet is very simple. All you would have to do is go to the top left corner to where it says Make Padlet. And it, Padlet gives you several options and different styles that you could create a Padlet. Um, the timeline one seems very interesting to me. You can place it on a map. There's more of a discussion and then more like a linear shelf where students would post different things all in one area. So once you click the type of Padlet that you would want, the options to edit the Padlet are going to pop up for you. So on the title, usually I would type something similar to the particular assignment that we're working on. And then on the description portion, that's where I would add the directions for my students to read. So normally I have for the title, enter your name, and then additional directions like comment and like on your classmates' artwork. There's also additional options where you can change the wallpaper. Even though that particular wallpaper looks delicious, it might not pertain to what we're working on. Uh, so there's different options there that Padlet provides for you and you can also upload your own image. There, then you can um, change the text, you can change the colors, uh, you can change the attributes, meaning that students would have would, their names would show up because it is associated with OCPS, their names would show up. Students can like, vote, or star, give a star system to their um, fellow teammate or classmates, artwork, or posts. And then um, you can filter out profanity, which I work with middle schoolers, so I use that. Um, and then you could click save. So for the students, all they would have to do to add to the Padlet would just click that pink button on the bottom left and then they would just read the directions, hopefully, and then add the information. Students are then able to either upload a video, upload an image, a link, and then if they click those three buttons, there's even more options. They could um, Google, they could upload a link, they could film themselves answering maybe a prompt. If they're not comfortable filming themselves, they can just use their voice. They can also screen record, which would be a really cool way to show procedural things with tech or canvas or dojo. Um, they can also draw to answer a question, and they could also link to another Padlet. And so to get Padlet onto your launch pad, all you would have to do is on the top left corner, you would click on add apps or search apps and then you would type in Padlet. If you ever have a chance, go ahead and look through all those apps. There's actually some really cool apps through our launch pad. Once you click the add app, it would show up to your launch pad. So let's say that you created a Padlet. Now, how do you get it to your students? Well, you can get it to your students through a link. You can share that link. Um, you, you can click that button right there and it actually copies the link to your clipboard and then you can share that link to Dojo or you could share that link to Canvas. I like using Padlet because it's more like visually pleasing and it looks kind of fun and so instead of using something like Dojo or a discussion board in Canvas, I like to use Padlet. And so you would go back to your Padlet, get that link from the little peg on the top corner, click on that button that says copy to clipboard and then your link would be copied to your mouse or clipboard. Then you would go to whatever um, learning management system you're using in your classroom. I'm using Canvas and I'm linking it to a word called Padlet. Um, my students have been um, not trained but they know to look for the word Padlet to include that link. So once they see the word Padlet they know exactly to click on it and it takes them directly to where they're supposed to be posting their artwork. So that's the assignment page right there. Students go to look for the Padlet to upload their image and it takes them directly to it. There are my directions and students have already been posting.
all they would have to do to post is click on that little plus button on the bottom right hand corner and then they follow the directions. Hope this is helpful to you. Bye.